Before we get started coding HTML and CSS, we need to download a code editor. The one that I'm going to have you use in this class is Sublime Text. There are a lot of free code editors out there. It doesn't necessarily matter which one you use. Find one that you're comfortable with as far as formatting goes and, and use that. This will just be the one that I'm using for the class because it's free and easy. All you got to do is hit download, whether you're a Mac or PC. You'll get a download file. I'm going to go ahead and download that. Click the zip file that comes down and it will unzip the text editor. Here's mine. I'm going to double click that. What happens when you double click this is you'll get a window that comes up. This one says uh, it's from a third party developer. That's okay. This is the code editing environment. It's really simple. There's not a lot here. It's a very simple light interface. All of your tools and options are up top. We won't need many of those. But the first thing we're going to do before we get started uh, doing any coding is to save out this document right out of the gate. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to name this something specific. So I'm going to choose a folder. I made a folder on my desktop. I would suggest you do this every time you design a site. You make a separate folder for it. It might help to keep all your weekly assignments in separate folders as well. I'm going to name this something really special, Index. That HTML. Notice this is all lowercase, all one word. This is really important. The first website that you make, and every website subsequently that you make, the home page must always be named index.html. The server that you're going to put this on later on to get this thing to run on the internet is going to look for index.html as the name of your home page. If you don't have something named that, your page just won't load. So go ahead and save that into the folder. .html is the extension hypertext markup language makes a web file hit save now this is a web document there's not much to it but that's this is our, our, our beginning web document now that I've got this saved out I'm going to put in some basic tags that every HTML page needs and I'll explain what tags are this is the beginning of any web page the HTML open tag now, when I say open tag, what does that mean? I'm going to go to enter down a couple lines here, and I'm going to put another tag. I'm just using the, the uh, less than bracket forward slash. Now, notice something happened here. I had just hit forward slash, and my editor automatically completed this for me. That's because that is why we use a code, code editor for one. But for two, this shows uh, an important property of web coding, open and close tags. Anytime you set up a document in HTML and you're doing some coding for it, doing some scripting languages, you usually will, will do a set of tags, a set of tags. Most tags that you use will have an open and a close component. And then the things you're trying to modify are sandwiched between those here. Okay, so I'm going to add some more tags to this page between my open and close tag. The next crucial tag we need is the title tag. Now, I want to show you something. I'm going to put a close title tag here. Tags can be written both of these ways. You can write tags with horizontal nature or vertical carriage returns. It doesn't really matter. I could I could put my title below here like this, or I could leave it on the same line. And hitting enter on your keyboard, carriage returns don't matter in HTML. The, the, the browsers don't read those. So either way is OK. Underneath this tag, which is kind of important that, it, that the next tag goes underneath the title tag, is the head tag. Now be careful, sometimes I hit forward slash on that accidentally and it just automatically completed my HTML. You gotta watch that. Um, I'm gonna put a close head tag because this tag actually goes around the title tag. So the head tag surrounds the title tag. I wanted to just show you the title tag can be written. Mostly it's written like this. But the title tag goes inside the head tag. I wanted to kind of show you this way. Uh, for a reason. The, the head tag is a tag that contains a lot of information about your HTML document. Inside this title tag, I can put some, some different text and things of that nature, which I'm going to do in a minute. And I just wrote it in this fashion so it picks it out apart a little bit so you can see the difference. What you can also do is hit tab on your keyboard to cascade these things. This is called the cascade. <clears throat> this is just an organizational scheme that you'll use sometimes designing your pages. Sometimes you can move these things around by hitting tab just to see the flow a little bit better. You don't necessarily have to do these things, but it helps a little bit to read it. 
All right, last tag we're going to put in here. The body tag, the most important tag. This tag is the tag that contains all of the stuff in your web page, essentially. Anything you put in this section, in the body section, will show up in the actual browser. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit File, Save. And I'm going to add some, some text in here. Because right now, this is an HTML document. And it will launch into an, a window, a browser window. But there's nothing in it. There's no content in it. So let, let's add some content first so we can see what's happening here. I'm just going to put my page title in the title section. This is what's going to show up in the browser tab up top. Let's just do something classic. Hello world for the body section. And I'm going to save that. File save. Now, what you can do to test this, simplest way, go to wherever you've saved your index.html file and double click that. This will launch this in the default browser on your computer. A couple things have happened. Up top, you've got your title that we put inside the title tag here shows up top in the tab. The text, hello world, that we've put inside the body section shows up here. It's that simple. To make a website, this is ready to launch and to drop onto a server on the internet. This, this is the very basics of making a simple page. Now, what you might want to do to experiment further with this is find a source, like in your book or online somewhere, of good HTML tags that you can experiment. I'm going to show you a good one. W3 Schools. W3 Schools is a pretty good place to find HTML and CSS reference. If you go to the tutorial section up top and do Learn HTML, there's a really great index on the left here of all kinds of different preset HTML stuff. So if you wanted to experiment and play around a little bit with like say HTML color, you could click on that HTML colors link and this will show you all kinds of different codes that you might be able to apply to copy and paste. We could just copy and paste something here into our document in the body section and see what happens. I'm going to save this and refresh my page. And bingo, check it out. We've got some different things happening here, which I'll explain later what these codes do. But this is a good the good place. W3Schools is an excellent place for reference. I would go to the, the HTML introduction and read through some of the basic HTML stuff. This is what I've just done here with a little extra, uh, which I'll explain next about headings and paragraph tags, things of that nature.